This is NetLens with a subset of the ACM digital library, the CHI papers. Here are the papers and here are the authors. On the top are overviews. By default, I see the evolution of the number of papers over the years. I can switch to other attributes on the x-axis or I can group the papers, for example, by topics. Now, for each topic, I have a separate distribution. So, anthropomorphism, for example, has more and more papers. This is a logarithmic scale. I can scroll to see all the topics. To see the recent papers on anthropomorphism, I click on a bar or two. Here are the papers, and here are the references. Or I could switch to see the citations. Clicking on one paper highlights its citations. A double click opens the SEM digital library. The same thing can be done with the author side. By default, the overview is by country. More importantly, I can send information from one side to the other. For example, I could send the latest papers on anthropomorphism and see who wrote those papers. Let's imagine that I need to learn more about groups of scientists from Asia who are knowledgeable in HCI. What countries are they from? How active are they? What topics are they working on? Who are the leaders? And so on. I change the x-axis to continent and I select Asia. Then I switch the overview to country and see seven Asian countries. I remove the countries that have less than five authors. Now I change the x-axis to institution and I can see the distribution of authors from academia and industry and so on. Um, I decide to start with the research in industry. So I select the dot .inc and the research labs. That narrows the number of authors to 119. Now, what do they work on? I send the authors to the paper side by changing the red oval to an arrow. I see 88 papers. I group the papers by topic and review the topics. I see a lot of papers in, let's say, CLCW, in multimodal, etc. The papers are sorted by the number of citations, so the top papers are more influential. Let's focus on those papers. I select all the papers that have been cited more than once. I see 22 papers. I could review what topics they are on also. Now, who are the authors of those most cited papers? I change the arrow, which sends the papers to the other side. The list is still limited to the authors in Asian industry. I can sort by the number of papers and I see that Ron Rekimoto from Sony Computer Science Labs wrote eight papers. When I click on him, I see also all his co-authors on the right. Now I might ask, who was influenced by the work of the researchers in Asian industry? I go back to the papers and select the 66 citations. I create a special my list and see the review the topic distribution again. The authors of those papers have been sent to the right already. But this time I reset the filter to see them all. Changing the overview, I see what country they come from. If I'm interested in a possible connection with a specific country, I select it. Here, Sweden. And I review the names. I can export data to other tools, for example, to browse co-authorship network. If I type Rekimoto, I see how he's connected to the Sweden authors via co-authorship. A consistent interface can be used for different data sets. For an email collection, here are the emails and the people. I select the email marked as confidential, then ask to see who receives those emails. I select the people outside and round, then send them back 
and see what they were talking about by changing the overview to the topics and I see they were talking about legal advice and California energy crisis.